Okay, hey, let's go ahead and get started with a reading. What do we got here? First card out, we got luck is on your side. It says new moon in Sagittarius. The moon is going into Sagittarius as we speak right now. We've been in Scorpio the last couple of days. Things have been a little intense. Some of you guys, this is like about moving. This is, what the fuck? Sorry, I got all these pop-ups, Mercury retrograde. And then we got prosperity lies ahead. So if you're worried about money, don't worry about it. And then what do you need to release? Okay, what do you need to release? Maybe for some of you, it's a debt. For some of you, it's a debt. Okay, and then the last card out we got, it's time to take action, but it showed up in the reverse. So I'm going to go ahead and accept it as there's something you need to finish before you can start something new. So funny enough, we just had that full moon eclipse, which is about endings. And then we have the new moon, which is an Aries coming up on April 8th. So it's not quite time to take action yet, but just know that things are, there's some things being maneuvered that, or you're needing to do some maneuvering, okay? Make, to make room. It's to make room for whatever new thing is coming in around this new moon solar eclipse that we're going through. So endings and new beginnings. Whatever this is, this is a lucky break. These are brand new beginnings. you got three new moons here. Three new moons showing up in this reading. Okay, new moon in Sag, new moon in Taurus, new moon in Aries. But the new moon in Aries, we still got a couple of weeks. So I do feel like this, this is a timing card. I feel like you have between now. So maybe for some of you, it's an addiction. For some of you, it's, like I said, it's a pattern. It's a, a bill. Maybe you're spending money on something that you shouldn't and you need to, like, sit down and go through your bills. Maybe that's what it is and see where you're bleeding money from, okay? Some people have a Netflix account. You're bleeding money. You don't even watch Netflix. You watch it maybe, like, once a month. Is it really worth what you're spending on it if you're only watching it one time a month, you know? So just be mindful where you're bleeding money. Um, I like these two. Luck is on your side. Prosperity lies ahead. Something's telling me. I never usually read this. What do you need to release? But I feel very called to. What do you need to release? I don't know if it's the beginning. I've never read these cards, really. I, once in a blue moon. Ah, there it is. The waning moon points to what's falling away. Life goes in cycles and sometimes we need to downtime or to let go. No matter when the moon cycle, you pull this card. It's a sign that a situation has peaked for better or worse. And it's time for you to go easier. It's the autumn and winter of the cycle. So what do you need to release? Almost certainly something from the situation that you're asking about. This card can be very positive, but it can still be gently suggesting that you let something go and stop trying so hard attuned to the moon it's safe to let go and move on additional meanings for this card says move forward with as little resistance as possible this is not the time to start new projects never between e eclipses should you be starting new projects Releasing emotional baggage is recommended now and say sorry to someone. Do energetic work such as meditation or yoga and soon you will see what lies ahead. At the time of the waning cycle, take a moment to look up in the skies every day. You will see the moon growing smaller and smaller as she moves from full to new again. It's the time when things are falling away. It's certainly not the time to cling on to anyone or anything. Drawing this card suggests your situation is in its autumn and winter phase. So hunker down and start the regeneration process. I think that that's what we've been doing. Listen, you already know what needs to be let go of. And for some of you, if you've already, some of you are still in the process of letting things go, healing from those things. But I th feel like there's like this sunny disposition that you're all in. You know, it's like there's the, an air of optimism, you know, and it sucks. Maybe our go-to when we know we need to let something go is we go, oh man, 
You know, maybe stop saying that, you know, why does it always have to be turned to a negative when you know it's time for you to let go? Just be like, you know what? I'm poised to do so because it's freeing up whatever space I need in order for, you know, new things to come in. So that's why it's telling you, but don't take any action right now. Don't do anything right now with that energy in the reverse. Okay. For some of you, this is about walking away from a relationship. <clears throat> for some of you it could very well be about uh and i just had to clear my throat so somebody needs to talk somebody needs to speak up what's this luck is on your side fork in the road so again you know you either let it go and move towards whatever it is that like you've been dreaming of or hold on We've got the number 13 here. This is the, the death card in the original Rider Waite Tarot. So it's like, do you stay stuck or do you let something die? And I love the fact that it is luck is on your side. So whatever this is, is very transformational. I'm getting very, oh, funny enough, look at the bottom of the deck. We've got regeneration. So like I said, you know, uh, if there's, and that's the death card also in this deck. Yeah. Chaos and conflict. And that sits right underneath the prosperity lies ahead. Listen, value yourself more. That's what I'm hearing. Value yourself more. And for some of you, this is about needing to change, you know, scenery so that you can make more money. Another thing, too, is if it's a job that you know you need to release, there's a lot of chaos in that. Like, you know, there could be people fighting. There could be some type of like just underhandedness. I'm getting. Yeah. And what do we got here? <laughs> you got the, it, it's time to take action in the reverse. But look at what you got it with. Remember when I said, I think it's a timing card. Take talk. Take talk. And not only is it like that, but then you're also going to have a leg up. There's going to be people here to help you. Ha! And then we have by the book. What do you need to release? Maybe you need to release doing everything by the book. Maybe it's time for you to rip up your book and throw it away. It's time for you to write a new chapter in your book. That's what this fork in the road, you know, Is they're going in opposite directions. You're either going to follow the crowd. You know, you can follow the crowd or you can go off on your own. No choice is the wrong choice as long as you can live with the choice that you're making. Okay? But if you're willing, if you're willing to go off on your own, you are protected is what spirit is saying. We will protect you. So for this, some of you, this is about traveling. This is about going somewhere foreign to you. I would be careful of that right now, though. Maybe plan, but don't quite take the action just yet because we are going into Mercury retrograde and you definitely don't want to... You don't want to get yourself into a situation... I'm also seeing somebody here who's having money issues. All right. You're feeling like luck has not been on your side. Okay. I'm getting that very strongly. And for some of you, it's like, you know, you're trying to do everything by the book, you know, to make money and listen, be mindful what you're willing to sell your soul to the devil for. Okay. For a couple of dollars. But someone here is definitely having uh, some type of financial issues, okay? And that's causing some conflict for you too. But don't, that doesn't mean quit your job. Just keep building. Just keep doing what you're doing. Your time is here. Your time is coming. You're going to get that leg up that you have been hoping and wishing and praying for.
lot of threes here, guys. We've got the number 13, the number 33, the number 34, and the number three. Or, I'm sorry, number 30, which is a three. A lot of threes. Theme of three all the way across the board right down here at the bottom, too. Three, 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 three. So one, two, three, four, five threes. Threes are about communication. It's about short distance travel. It's about after you've made this decision with the fork in the road. It's almost like somebody keeps having to stop and like start over. It's like you start something and then you got to scrap it. Then you go and work with somebody else, something falls through and then you have to go scrap it. It's almost like every single time you start building, you have to scrap it. And you're just trying to do what you're being guided to do, but you just feel like you're always having to scrap it. And I feel like that's causing some type of uh, internal conflict. Especially when it comes to like, yeah, you definitely someone here has money issues for sure. You just feel like things are just not moving forward. We got the elephants. We got a llama here. We got a, a horse or a zebra, horse, zebra, whatever, polar bears, ram, and a bull. Those could be significant. Oh, and a monkey and an owl. I really do feel like for a lot of you, you need to really start talking to your guides and angels a lot more. And spirit is telling you, like, your time is coming. Your time is coming. So what is this chaos and conflict and prosperity lies ahead? This is about you. I think you're at the precipice of making a new decision about maybe even your work. Yeah. See, you're on the fence about something. It showed up on its side, the hanged man. It's like you're in limbo about something and it's, it is, and look at this. It's like right next to that. It's, it's all in the timing right now. And I think while we have Mars in Pisces, this is Pisces, this is Mars. I feel like it's like, you know, we're drowning in emotion right now and all kind, and, and we're really conflicted and all we want is that get up and go energy. So I do feel like for a lot of you, this is about holding on to your money, holding on to your finances, you know, budgeting yourself. For some of you, you need to release some of your spending. Like you're spending a lot of money on stuff that you don't need. You know, and you need to be really mindful about where your money is going. And don't be afraid to ask for a leg up. Don't be afraid to ask for help even. I feel like for a lot of you, you're just like, you, you kind of take it all on your own. But you, you know, there's a lot of mental conflict and a lot of anguish. And maybe in the past, you know, that my, when money got involved between you, <laughs> Ten of Pentacles, yeah. Um, whenever money got involved, it, it always caused, caused a rift. Yeah, lover's choice. Yeah, this is about, you know, somebody out there willing to help you. Even if this is not with money, maybe this is about moving. You know, for some of you, this definitely could be about moving. And, you know, you're you're needing help. You know, you need help. People are going to help you. Six of Cups. And they're going to do it out of love. Huh. All right, Spirit. Any other last messages? Whoa, that's a lot. Too many. I got like 10 cards here. Any other last messages? You guys are really being, like seriously, no joke. If you guys are not talking to your spirit guides, angels, ancestors, God, universe, uh, whoever it is that you guys are talking to, you know, archangels, whatever, I suggest you do so. Because I do feel like there's something here about enlightenment and you're going to get the enlightenment that you need in order to understand where you are going to be going. This is about self-acceptance. And going where you're accepted. But accepting yourself first. 
Yeah, and then we've got honesty and communication. So this is about communicating what you need. And for some of you, you're just afraid of doing that. And we've got listen deeply, which is like the uh, hanged man. I see that here, the listen deeply. Okay, and look at this, you guys. I can't even make this shit up. I told you, it's all about divine timing. It's all in divine timing. Look at that. It's time to take action. Tick tock, divine timing. It's all working out in divine right time. Everything you need will be for provided in divine right time. Take charge and action. That's so funny when it's telling you at the over here, it's so contradictory. It's telling you it's not time to take action, but then over here, it's like it's time to take action. I feel like you're going to feel like it's time to take action, like you need to be doing something, but I feel like this is a really a time for you to just kind of listen to yourself, listen to your inner guidance, um, and, and be honest with yourself. You know, this is about being honest about where you want to go. This is about being honest about the changes that you want to make. This is about, you know, getting honest about, you know, really our, our future, you know, and I know that the future is unknown, especially with everything that's going on in the world today. And it's like never fucking ending, always something. And it's not going to end. There's going to be more because they got to do everything they possibly can, you know, uh, to rile us up and distract us from everything. But I feel like you just need to hunker down. It's almost like with the hanged man. I, it's almost like, you know what? I don't see it. I just got to keep going. I, you know, I need to have my tunnel vision. I can't keep worrying about all the fuckery and the shit that's going on in the world. But, you know, I get that. You do have to kind of keep your head on a swivel, though. Okay? You do need, yeah, the world. Yeah, you need to keep your head on a swivel. Because no matter where at in the world, you don't want to be aligned with something you don't want to be aligned with. But it's not time to take action yet on something. So you guys are going to know what this is all about. Uh, take what resonates. Discard the rest, you guys. Um, I am starting up my Patreon where I'm going to start putting the majority of my readings over there. Uh, so if you guys would like a membership, it's five bucks a month. Um, and I would love for you guys to head on over there. I give, I'm going to start doing all my daily readings and uh, love readings and stuff over there. So I hope you guys will join me. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram under Peace Unhinged Tarot and the Footsteps to Peace. Sorry, Patreon is the Footsteps to Peace also. Uh, you guys, I love you all so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Again, keep your head on a swivel and be safe out there. Love you guys all so much.